Hi everybody, this video is going to be a response to Miller USAF's really good video on the different types of shotgun ammunition. And it's a pretty cool coincidence that he uh, made that video because a few days ago I was talking to a couple of my friends about their specific home defense shotgun setup. Um, two of them said they like to mix their ammunition in their magazine tube. One of them likes to load alternating rounds, buckshot, slug, buckshot, slug, and so on and so on. And my other friend likes to load with increasingly more lethal rounds. So his first shot was a beanbag, followed by a bird shot. Next two rounds were buckshot, followed by two slugs. And I told them, you know, that might work for you guys. Um, and I'm not saying it's wrong or bad or anything, but for my personal use, um, I've been in high pucker factor situations before. And just from my experience, I know in those situations, my cognitive thinking is not at 100%. So I'm running the risk of forgetting what I'm shooting next. And where I live in uh, the urban environment that I live in, it's going to be a liability. Um, so if I shoot a slug when I mean to shoot a buckshot, you know, it could put people, innocent people at risk. And on the flip side, um, let's say your first shot is a beanbag, but the bad guy sees you first or he decides to take the first shot, and I guarantee you his first shot is not going to be a beanbag. Um, for you to get something in action that is powerful and to put him down, you're either going to have to uh, fire your first shot, the beanbag, which isn't going to drop him, or kick it out and load in another round. So that's why I like to load my shotgun with all buckshot, number four buckshot to be specific. Um, I chose number four uh, because where I live, uh, double lot is just going to be too much and I wasn't uh, satisfied with the penetration that I've seen with birdshot. Um, I'm sure it works fine but for my specific setup I went with number four just because it's a good compromise between um, knockdown power and uh, not over penetrating a target and putting innocent people at risk. Um, so this drill that I'm going to demonstrate here is called the select slug drill. I'm sure a lot of you have seen it before uh, but I haven't seen very many videos um, out there so those of you that haven't seen it before um, you'll have an opportunity to see it here. So what the select slug drill is um, it's a method to leave room in your magazine tube for whatever specialty round your situation might call for. And I generally like to use this with higher capacity shotguns. This particular shotgun holds eight in the tube, one in the chamber, for a total of nine. So, if your shotgun holds four rounds or five rounds, you might want to think twice, think long and hard before you decide to use this technique. Um, I mean, I'm not saying it's bad or wrong, uh, but just think twice about it because you're going to be short one round in your magazine tube to use this technique. And like I say, especially in home defense, every decision you make has to be worth your life. Okay, so select slug drill. Like I said previously, this shotgun holds eight in the tube. For the select slug drill, I load up with seven. I always leave room in the magazine tube for one round for this technique to work. Okay, so for this demonstration, um, let's just pretend that this empty shell is the number four buckshot in the chamber and the magazine tube let's just assume that it is full with seven rounds rather than the than the maximum capacity eight okay so seven rounds not eight select slug drill i'm in my defensive position at the ready loaded up with a buckshot in the chamber and all buckshot minus one round in the magazine tube and then i realize that i need a slug uh, it doesn't have to be a slug. Let's say you need a beanbag or a gas round or whatever specialty round your situation calls for. It's just called the select slug drill for simplicity. Okay? And my slugs I keep in the speed feed stock here. So this is how the select slug drill works for this particular shotgun. Okay? I'm at the ready. Uh-oh, I need a slug. Grab the slug from the stock. Load it in the tube. Kick out the buckshot that I had in the chamber and load the slug I just placed in the magazine tube. Okay, so that was the buckshot you saw coming out. 
And now in the chamber I have the slug, which is actually a snap cap for this demonstration. I'll do that one more time for you guys. <clears throat> okay. Again, full magazine tube minus one round. So if your if your magazine tube holds eight, load seven. Buck shot in the chamber. Buck shot in the magazine tube. You're at the ready. Uh oh, I need a slug. That was a select slug drill. Kick out the buckshot and load the slug that you just placed in the magazine tube. That's the select slug drill. Um, hope you guys like it. If you can use it, awesome. If you think, hey, this isn't going to work for me, go ahead and toss it out. Um, it's not the, the only way to go and not necessarily the best way. It's just for my specific home defense situation, that's what works for me.